Wes Jones is now with a look at our forecast for the rest of the night and into the weekend. And you say we may be in for some storms this weekend. Yeah, so here's our options, Rod. We can either talk about the clouds and rain this weekend, or we okay. can spend the next three minutes looking at pictures of the sun. <laughs> Let's do that. Because it's out. <laughs> it is out. That's a big deal because we've had five days of clouds. So here's a live look up in northwestern central North Carolina. This is Person County. That's Heiko Lake. Great little lake and won't be too long where that water will be warm enough to uh, jump in. 81 degrees. I mean, it's not cool out up there. The temperatures are kind of reversed today. You come back farther to the south and things cool off because we had clouds for longer. Here's your example. Carolina blue skies in Chapel Hill where it's 79. Come a little farther south. Mix of sun and clouds, but there it is, the sun over at NC State Centennial Campus where it is 78 degrees. Now you continue farther south and there's a little bit of rain, still some extra cloud cover down there. Uh, we just talked to Jamise in the uh, first part of our newscast. She was right around Goldsboro. She got a quick shower. That's out of there as that search continues for her father and his son. Again, small rain chances for the next hour or so. Then we'll be dry the rest of the night. Dry and comfortable. You're not going to need a coat tonight. I mean, it's still well into the 70s and low 80s. And here's what I mean by how the temperatures are kind of reversed. You know, normally warmer, cooler as you go south to north. Today, it's warmer, cooler as you go north to south. But everyone is above average and everyone will be mild and eventually dry tonight. As we head toward 8 o'clock, all of that rain I just showed you will be gone. There'll be a few clouds. We'll have mostly clear skies tonight as we slowly fall through the 60s on this Friday evening. We get toward tomorrow morning and here come the clouds. So enjoy what little bit of sunshine we have because the weekend will be more mostly cloudy than anything else. And tomorrow morning, some of us will have some patchy dense fog. You can see most of us have that unlimited visibility in your fog forecast, which shows up as 10, as in 10 miles. But you get south of the triangle where there's going to be a little extra moisture in the ground, could see some fog tomorrow morning. So watch out for that. But we do have some rain and storm chances this weekend. Let's talk about when that's going to happen. One more time, though, here's a look later tonight as we have mostly clear skies. I will never take that for granted after the week we had. But tomorrow morning, we start to see fog and the clouds move back in. Here you can see we'll be back to mostly cloudy by lunchtime. Here's batch number one of rain coming through Saturday afternoon. Not going to be a washout tomorrow. Showers, thunderstorms, long shot of severe weather Saturday afternoon. Saturday night, a couple of residual showers, nothing too impressive. Then we get into Sunday. The morning starts off cloudy and dry. Another cold front approaches Saturday afternoon. Looks like right around lunchtime. That line of showers and storms starts to move through. It'll be right on top of the heart of central North Carolina about 2 or 3 o'clock. And then the cold front comes through, maybe some non-severe rain Sunday night. But listen, both of those chances of rain, Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon, have a threat of severe weather. It's a very small risk Saturday. Marginal, which is a 1 on our 1 to 5 scale. I'm a little more concerned about Sunday afternoon. It's a slight risk, which is a 2 on our 1 to 5 scale. For that reason, Sunday's going to be an alert day. Please keep an eye on the weather. Stay weather aware. We've got 70s and 80s this weekend. 60s as we cool off Monday and Tuesday. A quick warm-up Wednesday. And then April, first few days on your 10-day, start off kind of chilly.